Chapter 23 The Lord said to Moses, Give the Israelites instructions regarding the Lord's appointed festivals, the days when all of you will be summoned to worship me. You may work for six days each week, but on the seventh day all work must come to a complete stop. It is the Lord's Sabbath day of complete rest, a holy day to assemble for worship. It must be observed wherever you live. In addition to the Sabbath, the Lord has established festivals, the holy occasions to be observed at the proper time each year. First comes the Lord's Passover, which begins at twilight on its appointed day in early spring. Then the day after the Passover celebration, the festival of unleavened bread begins. This festival to the Lord continues for seven days, and during that time all the bread you eat must be made without yeast. On the first day of the festival, all the people must stop their regular work and gather for a sacred assembly. On each of the next seven days, the people must present an offering to the Lord by fire. On the seventh day, the people must again stop all their regular work to hold a sacred assembly. Then the Lord told Moses to give these instructions to the Israelites. When you arrive in the land I am giving you, and you harvest your first crops, bring the priest some grain from the first portion of your grain harvest. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest will lift it up before the Lord so it may be accepted on your behalf. That same day you must sacrifice a year-old male lamb with no physical defects as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. A grain offering must accompany it, consisting of three quarts of choice flour mixed with olive oil. It will be an offering given to the Lord by fire, and it will be very pleasing to Him. Along with this sacrifice, you must also offer one quart of wine as a drink offering. Do not eat any bread or roasted grain or fresh kernels on that day until after you have brought this offering to your God. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed wherever you live. From the day after the Sabbath, the day the bundle of grain was lifted up as an offering, count off seven weeks. Keep counting until the day after the seventh Sabbath, fifty days later, and bring an offering of new grain to the Lord. From wherever you live, bring two loaves of bread to be lifted up before the Lord as an offering. These loaves must be baked from three quarts of choice flour that contains yeast. They will be an offering to the Lord from the first of your crops. Along with this bread, present seven one-year-old lambs with no physical defects, one bull and two rams as burnt offerings to the Lord. These whole burnt offerings, together with the accompanying grain offerings and drink offerings, will be given to the Lord by fire and will be pleasing to Him. Then you must offer one male goat as a sin offering, and two one-year-old male lambs as a peace offering. The priest will lift up these offerings before the Lord together with the loaves presenting the first of your later crops. These offerings are holy to the Lord and will belong to the priests. That same day you must stop all your regular work and gather for a sacred assembly. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed wherever you live. When you harvest the crops of your land, do not harvest the grain along the edges of your fields, and do not pick up what the harvesters drop. Leave it for the poor and the foreigners living among you. I, the Lord, am your God. The Lord told Moses to give these instructions to the Israelites. On the appointed day in early autumn, you are to celebrate a day of complete rest. All your work must stop on that day. You will call the people to a sacred assembly the festival of trumpets, with loud blasts from a trumpet. You must do no regular work on that day. Instead, you are to present offerings to the Lord by fire. Then the Lord said to Moses, Remember that the Day of Atonement is to be celebrated on the ninth day after the festival of trumpets. On that day you must humble yourselves, gather for a sacred assembly, and present offerings to the Lord by fire. Do no work during that entire day, because it is the day of atonement, when atonement will be made for you before the Lord your God, and payment will be made for your sins. Anyone who does not spend that day in humility will be cut off from the community. And I will destroy anyone among you who does any kind of work on that day. You must do no work at all. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed wherever you live. This will be a Sabbath day of total rest for you, 
and on that day you must humble yourselves. This time of rest and fasting will begin the evening before the Day of Atonement and extend until evening of that day. And the Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites to begin the festival of shelters on the fifth day after the Day of Atonement. This festival to the Lord will last for seven days. It will begin with a sacred assembly on the first day, and all your regular work must stop. On each of the seven festival days, you must present offerings to the Lord by fire. On the eighth day, you must gather again for a sacred assembly and present another offering to the Lord by fire. This will be a solemn closing assembly, and no regular work may be done that day. These are the Lord's appointed annual festivals. Celebrate them by gathering in sacred assemblies to present all the various offerings to the Lord by fire, whole burnt offerings and grain offerings, sacrificial meals and drink offerings, each on its proper day. These festivals must be observed in addition to the Lord's regular Sabbath days. And these offerings must be given in addition to your personal gifts, the offerings you make to accompany your vows, and any free will offerings that you present to the Lord. Now on the first day of the festival of shelters, after you have harvested all the produce of the land, you will begin to celebrate this seven-day festival to the Lord. Remember that the first day and closing eighth day of the festival will be days of total rest. On the first day, gather fruit from citrus trees and collect palm fronds and other leafy branches and willows that grow by the streams. Then rejoice before the Lord your God for seven days. You must observe this seven-day festival to the Lord every year. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be kept by all future generations. During the seven festival days, all of you who are Israelites by birth must live in shelters. This will remind each new generation of Israelites that their ancestors had to live in shelters when I rescued them from the land of Egypt. I, the Lord, am your God. So Moses gave these instructions regarding the annual festivals of the Lord to the Israelites.